Hi, welcome back to part two. Uh, you can tell I'm not uh, in the video business. I pressed the on off button by mistake. That's why we finished so abruptly. Um, not much more uh, to tell you except um, the main reason I was showing you the uh, uh, starter pots was um, these Safina petunias that I bought uh, in another week or so, a couple of weeks, they will have uh, produced some uh, shoots straight off that will be about three or four inches long and you can take cuttings from them and that means that we could end up with four or five plants from just this one which makes them really good value. Um, the parent plant will still remain really well and the others will grow in the time that we've got between now and planting out uh, at the middle of May they'll work out really well. I've left the begonias to dry off as I said and then I'll pop them up again. Um, I can't remember if I told you the um, the starter plants I bought from Long Acres and they were 89p each. The geranium that I was showing you the white geranium which I'm using uh, as a stock plant. I haven't got any white geraniums. I've got uh, pinks and reds uh, and various mixtures but no whites so I bought a couple of whites that I'm hoping will form stock plants uh, come the autumn and I'll be able to multiply my stock again. Uh, so that's basically all I really wanted to show you at the moment. Um, Stuff's coming on, but it's uh, it's going to take a while uh, before the temperature gets up. Uh, I did notice last week if you're if you're um, used to doing gardening, uh, last week uh, just over a week ago when the temperature went up to 16 degrees during the day, uh, I came in the greenhouse and the smell was so different. Um, You'd know this if you spend much time in a greenhouse, but with all these plants in here, as soon as I walked in, there was a distinctive smell of uh, growth. Um, it's something you only get with greenhouses and, and plants growing when you walk in, and you could tell that everything was in active growth. And it just gives off a scent that you can't describe, but you recognize it as soon as you walk in. And now that the temperature's dropped again, that smell's disappeared, but it'll soon be back again as the uh, daytime temperatures don't drop too low um, it will do quite well as soon as it does start warming up and there's less fear of frost then a lot of the shrubs and things that I've taken cuttings off can go straight outside um, and I'll keep them under review uh, if it looks as though we're going to get a frost I could easily just whip them back into the greenhouse but um, round about the middle to the end of this month I want to be looking at hardening off which is a process of um, getting the plants customised to the temperatures outside. You don't want to move them directly from a greenhouse uh, that's been really warm to a, a cold outside temperature. And this is what they call hardening off. So you would take those plants and gradually get them used to the temperature. You can turn off the heating in the greenhouse, or open the vents a bit more and gradually bring the temperature down we don't want it to get too low, but once the temperature starts to sort of normalise at somewhere around about 8 or 10 degrees Celsius, um, then that's a perfect time to start um, getting these things hardened off. Um, and that's about it for the moment. Um, as soon as I start on the other projects, I'll let you know. Uh, so, uh, good speaking to you again. Take care. Bye.